Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw a cartoon dog, a really creepy one. Um, it's going to be simple, easy for beginners. Um, throw out any ideas you have for the channel. I'm going to try to keep it more on the spooky, maybe not spooky side, spooky, scary drawings or maybe like movie villains or something like that. Uh, that's the theme of the channel I want to keep uh, on the off season. And I will totally keep this up if you give me ideas. Alright, so let's get started. Don't forget, hit the subscribe and clip, uh, click the bell notification for that so let's get started okay gonna draw a line up here for the snout of the dog <clears throat> curve line over here gonna pull down for the end of the nose of the dog pulling up Curve with the mouth over here. Curve over here, pulling down. Over here, down. Okay, that's gonna be the front of the teeth there. Line over here, pulling back up. Curve underneath the mouth here and I'm gonna go over here on this side for the top of the head I'm gonna keep it going there and I'm gonna put a space and I'm gonna connect this all the way to this line right here go over here pull a curve for one ear over here curve for the other ear it's almost like a hot dog hanging off his ear as his ear Go over here on this side, curve down. Don't forget, hit the like button. Um, during the off season, meaning this is around January time, uh, I'm gonna run it through the entire time. I need you know your guys' support to kind of keep the channel going since it is a themed channel. I'd like to keep it going through the year. Uh, but yeah, like I said, absolutely hit that like if you enjoy this uh, and it'll also kind of help the channel out as well. Go over here on this side, I'm gonna do another curve pulling in cool cool I'm gonna go over here for the bottom of one eye curve underneath go over here on the other one curve underneath over here down over here down Over here again, right? Another the exact same shape again. Over here, the same shape. Line over here at the edge. Curve down for the nostril. And I'm gonna go over here and fill in that nostril. Filling in the dark portion of the eye. Going over here this side, filling in the dark portion of the eye. Over here, gonna go a little circle shape. Over here another circle shape, representing both teeth, like the bottom and, and top. Curve shape here. And I'm gonna keep it moving up. You want the impression of this dog, right? Not so much the exactness to it. You want the impression of this creepy dog. Curve over here. Over here on this side, I'm gonna draw his body down out. He's got wiggly arms. It's gonna go off the page here, go back here, pulling up. Down over here, the stomach. Over here, out. Over here out down over here for the body there is something else you can do um, it's a little bit iffy though because he is a black dog so you could kind of start you could fill in everything maybe put like a thin line here and start filling it all in black 
but that would kind of screw up your marker so you have to be very very um, iffy with it I guess you could do it let's let's do it here dang it I'm gonna fill it in if you have a marker you can do this with pencil like it's a lot easier because you can shade it over here and I'm leaving a line over there just so it's not it doesn't completely cover it same thing down here leaving a line right here so that I can like see the information otherwise you won't be able to see any of the information right unless you leave a sliver of white in spots so that's pretty much what I had to do and I'll try to do it quick because I don't want to keep you all day just watching me kill my marker here I'm leaving a line right here for the the line around the eyes and it's true it does look a lot creepier when you when you color the whole thing in dark like that because it's kinda like it's hard to see the features and stuff kind of filling this part in and uh, leaving light areas where I need to it doesn't have to be everywhere uh, but yeah if you have any other suggestions like I said I really really want them like send me your suggestions as far as like maybe movie villains or uh, you know something creepy like this like this is a, a character developed by I forget who but this design's really cool, this creepy dog. I think I did the creepy cat for Halloween. Uh, but yeah, let me know what else you want to see in the channel. I can use suggestions more than ever right now. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, like I said, keep uh, sticking around for more through the entire year. Uh, and I, like I said, I'll make it all happen. Thank you so much. I will talk to you next time, and I'll see you soon, all right? See you later. So if you're looking to upgrade your art skill overall, I highly, highly recommend you check out my Skillshare. It's also completely for beginners. The biggest difference is these are hour long courses on drawing, like I said. So if you're starting out, this is perfect for you as well. It's just that I take longer on each particular topic to really ingrain it in you. And this is how people fully level up their art skill uh, if you're serious about it. Um, so like I said, I have things here on the basics of drawing. I have the, the anatomy. I go over uh, anime as well. I go over cartoons as well here. I go over drawing basics. Uh, also fantasy art topics like dragons and things of that sort. There's a dragon drawing video here. Um, this is like pretty much the mecca for stuff like this. What you should do as well. Normally this stuff is like $40, right? The, the whole website. But go to the link in the description of the YouTube video you're watching right now. Go down, check out the link with the hearts on it. Uh, right below that, click that link for Skillshare. And that will give you at least the first, uh, I think the first 100, 100 people, it's going to give you a free month of Skillshare. So basically you can see everything on this thing completely for free for a month um, without paying anything. So that's what's cool about it. So like I said, this is only for the, you know, people that are very, very, you know, they really want to do this and they really want to put a lot of time into this. Go check this out. Thank you so much. And good. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you soon.